Hi, I'm Xavier Kelly. And I'm Trey Smith. And you're watching Panther News. If you owe attendance recovery and you have not checked in with Mrs. Wolf, you need to do so today. Just because you have been called down does not mean you owe it. If you have more than nine absences this sem semester, you owe it. All hours are due this week. If you have received any scholarships outside our local scholarships and want them announced at our senior awards night next Tuesday, you need to bring the information to Mrs. Oliver in the counseling office. We need this info by this Friday to be on the program. There will be a yearbook distribution party on Friday during 6th and 7th periods, so make sure you are here to get your yearbook. Upperclassmen during 6th and underclassmen during 7th. If you have not purchased one and want to purchase one of the few extras, you can go see Miss Bunch in room 171. Midtechs here in Midlothian is looking for grounds people. You must be 17 years or older and the starting pay is around $9. If you are interested, you will need to go on to Express Services in Waxahachie, call the number below, and ask for Sanja. Navarro Dual Credit students, please go onto their website and apply for the Brilliance Dual Credit Scholarship by June 1st for next year. Seniors, here's Donovan explaining the dress code for graduation. Hey seniors, I want to talk to Dr. Hemley about the graduation dress code. Um, the question is, the general dress code for graduation is, um, in our graduation letter that uh, I just posted yesterday or asked, asked to have it posted yesterday uh, on our school website and sent out to senior parents. Um, our, tra our, our tradition here at Midlothian High School is a traditional graduation. So um, if um, you bear with me, I'll, I'll, I'll just kind of try to explain to you the um, dress code for graduation. Um, for uh, the males, basically we want a white collared shirt with a dark tie, um, dark colored slacks. Um, jeans can be worn, but they have to be nice. Um, your graduation gown, no tennis shoes or flip flops, no shorts, um, and uh, your graduation cap. Ladies, uh, dresses are required uh, for graduation. Uh, graduation gown, no tennis shoes, flip flops, things like that. You might wanna, um, refrain from wearing spike heel shoes as you walk out onto the turf. Sometimes um, that gets um, um, a little shaky. Also, uh, you know, every year I get the request, can we decorate our, our caps? And um, unfortunately, no, that's been our answer uh, every year. Um, and, oh, stoles, the stoles and the cords that um, we provide students are the uh, only uh, items that will accompany uh, the cap and gown uh, at Midlothian High School for graduation. So I know it's kind of a bummer deal. I know a lot of you want to decorate your caps, but um, it's just a, we, the, the, the graduation at Midlothian High School is, is a formal, traditional graduation. And um, maybe with the new principal coming in, there might be some changes, but um, I'm kind of old school, sorry. Go to, go Panthers. Thanks, Dr. Hemley. If you have any more questions, go by the front office. That's all from me, back to you. French voters elected Emmanuel Macron as the country's next president, sending a strong pushback against the waves of populism sweeping Europe. And the US Macron won 66% of the vote against far-right rival Marine Le Pen. 82 Chibik schoolgirls are finally free after being kidnapped by Boko Haram three years ago. They were released over the weekend in a swap between the Nigerian government and the terrorist group. In exchange for the girls' release, the government freed five Boko Haram commanders, and the girls are in the Nigerian capital of Abuja, where they will meet the country's president. The new law, signed over the weekend by Governor Greg Abbott, bans sanctuary cities in the Lone Star State. The law sets criminal and civil penalties for local governments and law enforcement agencies that don't comply with immigration laws. Fines against local governments could hit up to $25,500 a day. A mandatory evacuation was ordered as hundreds of firefighters battled a massive wildfire Monday near the southeastern Georgia town of St. George, officials said. More than 130,000 acres are scorched by the fire, and only 12% of the fire has been contained since it was started by a lightning strike in April. Adolf Kiefer, a 1936 Olympic swimming gold medalist who was America's oldest living Olympic champion, has died at the age of 98. He was the first person in the world to break the one-minute mark in the 100-yard backstroke. 
and months later he became the youngest member of the U.S. Olympic team. Kiefer suffered from neuropathy in his legs and hands and was confined to a wheelchair, but he continued swimming daily until his passing. And now time for the question of the day. Which of these is a New Deal program? A, AAA, B, C, H, I, P, C, T, A, N, F, or D, S, N, A, P? And there's also a trivia question. Founded in 1607, what is considered to be the first permanent settlement in the New World? A, Jamestown, Virginia, B, Boston, Massachusetts, C, New York City, New York, or D, Dallas, Texas? And now Stephen with sports. Thanks, Trace. The Panthers baseball team watched the game slip away and couldn't recover in a 2-0 loss to Centennial on Friday to end their season. One honorable mention for the Panthers was a single by Tyler Spain in the fourth inning. The Lady Panthers softball team defeated Hillcrest 10-0 to win round two. The next game is a three-game series against Lake Ridge. Game one is on Thursday at Lake Ridge at 7 p.m. Game two is on Friday at Midlothian Heritage at 7 p.m. And game three, if needed, is on Saturday at Lake Ridge at 7 p.m. Thank you for all of your support. That's all for sports. Back to you. And the answer to the question of the day is A, 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 A. And the answer to the trivia question is A, Jamestown, Virginia. That's all for Panther News today. Thanks for watching. Remember to go to and, and go Panthers. Panthers.